Welcome to the Need Money for College Tricky Show. I'm Michelle. Jazz. Jazz needs money for college, so please. College is expensive. Oh, I did it wrong. Let's do it again. <laughs> I need to do it again. Yeah, I did no, it wrong. Okay. See, I want you to subscribe because Jazz needs to go to college. Just college is expensive, see? It still works. It still works. Either way, subscribe. Um, so today we are going to make, um, we're making some yummy dinner. It's a very scratch up bowl um, because it's well loved. Today we're making a veggie wellington. So I have no idea what that is. We, I've never eaten a beef wellington. Jazz definitely has I've never, never eaten meat. meat. I was inspired by something I saw on BuzzFeed um, where they were making a veggie wellington and I thought that would be a really fun and interesting thing for us to make. And we're gonna make ours um, differently than that lady made it. We're making it up as we go because I've never made this before so I am following you. Right, and then this is gonna be gluten free <laughs> as well. So the first thing with a wellington, what I know about beef wellington is that it has this lovely crust of red, Puff pastry. Like, you say that it was usually a puff pastry. It's like a puff pastry. Right. So, but um, obviously we don't have a gluten-free puff pastry pre-made. I'm not actually gonna so, make a puff pastry. I'm just gonna no. make a basically a pie crust, um, and I'm making it gluten-free. So the first thing I'm gonna do is this is our gluten-free blend. Um, it's potato starch, white rice flour, and tapioca starch. And I don't ever remember the, do you remember the ratio? No. Nope. I don't remember the ratio. Um, we'll put the ratio in the comments. Com in the, in the description. The description. So I'm going to start out with two cups. I'm not really sure how much I need. So I'm going to do two woo, cups. Maybe I'm do two and a half cups. This is the problem with me. It's like I, I kind of, when I make up recipes, I don't really... That's how you make it up, though. You you just you experiment and find out. You find out. So this is Xanthan gum. This is um, a binder that you use for gluten-free baking. And when you make bread, this, these flours don't have any gluten, which is the mm -hmm. thing that keeps the bread like smushy. Mm -hmm. So you have to um, make a substitute. You have That's the word I'm looking for. So don't fly it all over the kitchen. So <laughs> this is Xanthan gum. I I had an older bag that I emptied out and I'm just doing this is a teaspoon that was one yeah. teaspoon yeah. that's two right. teaspoons yeah. that was like half teaspoons. about two and a half teaspoons again we're making it up so and this is my gluten-free vegan butter now the recipe that we're doing is not actually vegan but this butter is just really really delicious so we use it we just we use it so I, I get Xanthan gum everywhere. Yeah. So again, I'm not this measuring. I'm just like spoon. cutting this much of butter of this vegan butter. Here, get the pastry knife. Just put the rest of that in. Okay, we're good. The wonderful thing about baking and cooking is if you have the right in tools, it makes it so much easier and so much fun. We've had it a long time. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's called a pastry knife and it's basically, um, let me hold it up for a second. More butter. More butter. More butter. It, it's basically this kind of like handle with these like Knives. They're not actual knives. I feel like it's a good texture. Mm, it's too crumbly. All right. I, I see. It's, it's it funny. falls apart with the butter. Blame yeah. jazz. <laughs> it falls apart because it's too too crumbly and there's enough butter. It's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> so now, um, now that this is all nice and crumbly, I'm gonna put some water in here so we can pull the dough together. And we need to make um, two. Well, dough balls, basically. I okay, guess it's time for hands. Yep. I'm gonna go wash my hands. So, my hands are Again. already washed. Um, so, we get to a point where you, you know, you'll see that the dough is starting to pull together. And again, like, gluten-free flour is a little bit more unique in its properties. So, um... It's a little bit more crumbly. It's more crumbly. You can't expect it to act like wheat flour, but it's just not going to. But you can get it into, um, a, a paint. Did you put paint? salt? Oh, no! It's okay. This is gonna be the coating of our Wellington. Maybe yeah. you need to see what a Wellington looks like. I have, I don't even know what it looks like. Go get your phone and look it up. Here, oh, show it. It's gross. It's really well. If you eat meat, I think you think it's show. Turn around and show it. Look, you're not gonna be able to see on. Okay, well, if we'll you put one right here. Maybe. Whoops. Um, I am now holding a box. <laughs>
Yeah. It's that's so basically it. Wellington is meat surrounded meat by wrapped in puff pastry. Something and then I think it's, it's, it's puff pastry. No, but you, I think you wrap the meat in stuff too. The size puff pastry? Yeah. There's you wrap it and then you wrap it in the puff pastry? Yeah. There's something around the meat too. Mm. I don't know. I've never eaten it. I've never eaten it. But it sounds like a great meat. idea for... I don't even know what meat tastes like. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Wait. I'm going to separate this in half. So obviously the color is incredibly white. white because of the white rice flour. But you do see like it is pulling together really well. What we're going to do with this right now... After we get into this nice ball, we're going to wrap it and put it aside. We're going to put it in the refrigerator so maybe it will get a little bit more firm. Mm -hmm. So then when we want to roll it out, after we make the all the stuff for the Wellington, we'll roll it out. So this is what I decided to make the meat of the Wellington. So we've got lentils that I've cooked and prepared. I've um, put them in veggie broth that I uh, bouillon. Mushrooms, my favorites. Some rice. I've got sprouted tofu. Um, two bricks that I got at Trita Joe's. Um, it's not vegan, so I have eggs as a binder if we need it. And then I've got a ton, oh, and walnuts. Hello, walnuts, very important. In fact, we're gonna start with the walnuts. Do you, we should switch places because you're putting stuff in. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just here for moral support. So, okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, I love walnuts. Um, I, I use them a lot. I'm not measuring. I'm sorry. I can't measure. Um, I was saying it loud for a second, so. So, okay, cool. So this is my, I don't know if you're seeing it up there. This is what it's, um, the walnuts are going to look like. And actually, Jazz, if you'll bring that bowl over, we're going to dump it in there. So that looks like, um, I guess a cup. About a cup of yeah, walnuts. About a cup. Yeah, about a cup. I think I'm going to do more. Okay. Because I'm making a big Wellington. So, so we got chopped up walnuts into the bowl. So now I got about, I would say two and a half cups of walnuts yep. round. That's about two and a half cups. So then the next thing I'm going to put in this is the lentils. Lentils. Should I? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Chopped up and delicious. Into the bowl. Mushrooms next. Mushrooms. Then I guess the rosemary. You just top in there, but don't do that yet because we're. I'm just... Okay. We're gonna do all the sizes together. I'm just gonna move this off to the side. To the side? Okay, cool. Here goes the mushrooms. Do you wanna just put the tofu, the rice, and the egg together? Yeah, let's do that. Rice? Tofu first. Okay, tofu. So I'm putting spread tofu. This is like super protein, this food here. It's gonna be super protein-y. We have not, um, drained all the fluid out of them just no. to keep it moist so there's it, it sticks better because I found that when working with tofu like we usually make a tofurkey for Thanksgiving and stuff um, keeping some of the moisture within the tofu keeps it together rather than draining it all out and then it's dry and it has nothing to stick to. I'm so, wondering yeah. actually we should mix the egg in ourselves into the mixture because I don't know oh, put the egg in who knows we're just making this up. Mm. It's a lot of food, so maybe not, but maybe two eggs. But uh, we'll try. We'll start with one egg and see what happens. Okay, so right now it looks like a bunch of mush, <laughs> but it's okay. That looks great, actually. That's it's exactly the texture that I wanted for that. So it's like a cottage cheesy looking kind of thing. This is what it looks like right now. It has no spices at all. So what we're gonna do is, this is rosemary from the garden. It's like Just a up. That's lentil in there. <laughs> Some rosemary, we probably need more rosemary than that. Well, whatever. Well, this is fresh rosemary, so it's extra powerful. Extra powerful rosemary. Yeah. Um, I'm also gonna put in some nutritional yeast. Again, I'm just- so have to suffice. <laughs> Tablespoon. 
That's about maybe like three people. Three tablespoons. <laughs> Go ahead and do your salt. Salt. I like it relatively salty. Um, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, so you're trying to like put this back okay. on. <laughs> like, I would say maybe like a teaspoon of salt. Maybe a teaspoon and a half. Maybe a little bit more. There you go. So maybe about like a teaspoon and a half. Parsley. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Sing. Wow. Sprinkle, 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 and then you'll know. Um, this is cumin. It's very powerful spice. Super duper powerful. Wow, they, I just sniffed it. It was going to make me sneeze. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. <laughs> and that is coriander. Coriander? Coriander. Coriander. Also, pretty powerful. That's good. Whoa! That was too much. This is liquid smoke. Seriously, you do not want to use a lot of this. Mm. It will it will overpower everything. In fact, I uh, this so this. much that I am gonna take this teeny tiny spoon. I don't even know what the measurement of this, and I'm I gonna put like teaspoon. like even like a top. I would say a quarter of a teaspoon. Like even that is probably too much. Yeah. It's that's how powerful it's, it is. Like it sticks in your nose. Yeah. Okay, now do we just dig your hand in? You want to help? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> and we're going to mash it all up and mix it all together. Cool. And this will be the center of our loaf. <laughs> So it's, it's very juicy. It's not yeah. holding together the way I was thinking it was going to hold together. Yeah, it's holding together perfectly. But it will be fine because it's going to go in our loaf. But it's holding together. That's okay. I have my rolling pin and some cornstarch. And these are our, they're been chilling. So what I'm, I'm not, if you were doing a pie, you would do a circle. I'm not doing we're a pie, I'm doing a loaf. For a rectangle. So yeah, I'm aiming for a rectangle. Should bring this little chunk. Bring that in. I think this is as good as it's gonna get. I think it's gonna start pulling up. Maybe we should put it on the pan. Yeah. Probably. Okay, let me get the pan. So I have just a regular cookie sheet. It's gonna fall apart though, I think. Yeah, it's gonna fall. Oh, wait a minute. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, baby. Hey, we did it. Cooperation. Let's get a little bit of water so we can see. Yeah, I need a little. So you can just dip your fingers in and sort of smooth it out. Should we Don't make put it? too much water. Like I just did. <laughs> Go with me. Go with me with this. Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> I told you. It's stuck to the pan now. Okay, it's a non stick okay. pan, so maybe it'll it's be okay. It's a non stick pan. We'll I should have sprayed it, but I was getting so excited about um, trying to make it work that I didn't think about spraying it. So. Okay, whatever. It'll be okay. Or it won't be. Or it won't be. You know how she did it? Mm -hmm. In the, in the with her YouTube, hands? she took it on her hand and she made little balls like this, and then she just like piled the balls on top of each other. Okay. That's how she did it in the in the Buzzfeed. I don't know her name. Thank you for the inspiration, though. Whoever you are on Buzzfeed, that's how she did it. Good. That's fine. Do you like well, my wait, idea? I'm just gonna roll this dough and put it on top. Yeah, yes. yeah. Why don't you do that while I do this? Once we put it here, we'll flip up the sides. See? Oh, you 
you know what I should do? I should preheat the oven. So I have no idea. Uh, I'm, I'm just, just gonna guess. Because it's thick, I would say do 400. 400. I forgot to put the, I did 415. Because more is better. So I forgot to put the spinach on. Hang on a second. See, so has this nice spinach that, oh, you know how I did the spinach, by the way? I just put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. It's that easy. And then I tossed it and then I put it in for another 30 seconds. Done. But you could do raw, I guess. I didn't do raw. I did it cooked. But I didn't want to boil it or steam it because I don't know. I didn't feel like doing that. So how are you suggesting we put this on? So we're going to... You got a lentil in it. It's okay. There's lentils in the food. Put the lentil in the dough. It's fine. So we're going to pick it up and you're going to very carefully pop it on top. It's <sighs> a bad idea. <laughs> it's, you have to, yeah, go that way. Here we go. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Watch. It's going to totally work. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Go, go, go. Yes! Success. Yeah! See, I told you it would work. How lovely! It's beautiful! It's so good. Okay, now we have a little water. Edge is like... No, but we're gonna fold it up, see? With the extra dough. So I wet my hands a little bit to make it help squish together. like flowers and it was very elaborate it was I was very impressed but I just don't have baking I don't have patience I'm ready to stick it in the oven right now no we had to wash it anyway wash it in egg we're not even close to done you have to smooth all of this out I'm ready to put it in the no oven. uh which direction is the heart facing <laughs> Don't you see, obviously, this uh -huh. is the point? No, I was gonna make a nice Look, it's a little heart. Look, it's a little heart. It's like a, yeah, da -da. Okay. Making a venting. I'll make another heart to make it double heart. egg wash and it's gonna get it nice and brown brown and delicious so make a nice little coat there with my two geometric shape hearts or triangles and jazz vent at the top and yeah so it's just one egg right yeah. and you wanted to do more than one egg I guess one egg was enough one egg is more than enough. I am so excited for when this comes out I think it's gonna be delicious did I get everything Let's do it. So I think we're gonna cook it for 45 minutes. I think 45 minutes should be enough. And so we'll check back later. Oh, it kind of burst open. Oh my goodness. It kind of burst open a little bit. Ooh, it smells really good though. It smells super good. So I, I think it's good. I think it's good too. Let me, I'm just gonna poke it. Or you can poke it with your fingers, which is hot. <laughs> you can poke it with your fingers. I don't know what you're expecting. I, I don't know. I'm poking it all the way through just to see like, if it was cooked How all the way. I don't know. Way. I don't know. Just like pulling it out, nothing. It's, it's all like clean. Like I don't a, know what you expect. Like baking. This isn't a cake. <laughs> it's not a cake. I think it's good. I think I it's think well it's cooked. Fine. It smells delicious. It came out gorgeous. Sort of. Sort of. And uh, yeah, so that is our veggie Wellington. I don't, I don't even remember what it was called. <laughs> cool. So now I'm gonna make a quick cashew sauce. This is a bag of raw, whole cashews. That Jess is gonna continue to eat. Why not? Let's We're do the whole bag. Left. We're gonna do the whole bag. Why not? And then um, nutritional yeast. 
I like the flavor it gives. It gives like a cheesy kind of flavor. That's definitely not enough. I would say that was about a tablespoon. Maybe the like half a tablespoon. tablespoon. Here, grab me a tablespoon or something. We'll actually measure that one out. So that was about a tablespoon. Let's put another, yeah, tablespoon. Yeah. And then, secret ingredient, coconut oil. This is um, organic, non-GMO coconut oil. And I have two jars because I don't think I have enough in that yeah, jar. Yeah, I don't know how that jar. Yeah, will you open that jar? Mm -hmm. If I can. So, while you're doing that, so in here I have, if you watch, we have a, or maybe, I don't know where this is. Our very first episode. Our very first episode is we made garlic soup. And so um, I have a little bit of that garlic soup left, that I, the broth that I'm going to use as liquid in here. And then also, when I made the lentils for the loaf, um, I saved the broth. So we're going to mix a little bit of both in here. Um, oh, oh so my good. gosh, the smell of garlic. That was amazing. It just wafted as we op I opened it. It was like, I, I like I wish I could demonstrate that. So I'm making two, how many, so it was like three tablespoons about. I think three tablespoons is good. Just scrape it off. Yeah, three tablespoons seems good. And then a little bit of this garlic and a little bit of this lentil juice, lentil broth. And, oh, would you give me a um, spatula? That's the word I was looking for. You need to plug, plug it in. <laughs> oh, it's plug in your okay. um, equipment. more liquid in there but it's a little too chunky still a little still too chunky for me but I don't want to put any more liquid in there because it's sort of like getting too too saucy but it's a little chunky I guess it's okay should we taste it see yeah. if it needs anything else because I didn't put any salt you didn't put any salt no I didn't put I forgot the salt probably needs some salt need some salt. That's the sauce. That's a, Those are all the ingredients that you need. That's it. That's it. So It's fast. It's delicious though. We're going to add it to our um, dinner. Yeah. When we cut up in our lovely loaf. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So it's all done. I'm going to make the first cut. Ooh, it's flaky. Hopefully the pan, oh good. <laughs> I was like, see how good our pan, our nonstick pan is. Oh my goodness. Gosh, it smells good. All right, awesome. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like so inside. Cashew. cashew on the side there. Cool. All right, take a bite. Let's take, take so. The crust is good. Came yeah. out like it. Well, let me just taste it without the anything on it. Just the mixture. Mmm. I like it. Kind of just like meatloaf. I was about to say it has a meatloaf taste. Mm -hmm. Has kind of like a meatloaf taste. Vegetarian because... meatloaf, anyways. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Mmm. <laughs> I'm good. I'm mm -hmm. this. You need the cashew sauce, though. It works well with the cashew sauce. Cool. Mm -hmm. mm. There you go. So, vegetarian Wellington. If you're more talented than we are, <laughs> you can, I should or say, or me, or not gluten free, you can make more of a decoration on your, your, um, 
both, and you can add different things into your Wellington as well if you, you like. Can customize it to you. But I would call this a success. Yeah, it's a yep. Cool. Well, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe because Jazz, Jazz really needs to go to college. His college is really expensive. Tell your friends. Thank you for watching. <laughs>